All right, so today I'm gonna to be putting a Momo wheel on my Toyota Tercel for fun. Um, I was actually gonna put this in my Mark II, well, future Mark II, that's why I bought it. But I was like, you know what? I'm itching to modify a car. And I think we all know that feeling. So we got the hub, hub check, wheel check, tool check, and last but not least, vape check. All right, so we're in the car. I already got the airbag off. Um, I just need to take off the bolt. And we got the workspace all OCD and nice. So let's get started. So normally you'd need a steering wheel puller, but I've taken this wheel off recently enough that I'm just gonna be able to unbolt it. So I'm gonna use the extension. I don't have a mic, so pardon the cars. And it should be a 19 for this car at least. I'm gonna wanna take off this little Jimmy right here. If I can do it. All right, there we go. So now I'm gonna take off this plastic. There's four bolts under here holding this uh, cover thing on. You're gonna wanna take your well-endowed screwdriver and get up in there. All right, so for this part, it looks like I'm gonna have to take this, 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 and this off. And then there's little clips right here. So we'll see how that goes. All right, so I just gotta take off these clips and I'm also gonna clean off, this is the horn ground, I'm pretty sure. And then this I'll probably clean off too. That's probably some sort of ground. All right, so what I did was I just got some soap and water and I'm gonna clean it off a little bit here. And it's looking good. Much better. I'm guessing this is kind of the, the horn mechanism. It's got a lot of grease, probably from the steering column, as it should. But over time, it really cakes up and muddies everything. All right, so I'm gonna give the hub a test try and see what it looks like on here. Hopefully I got the right one. So as you'll see here, there's three little dots. And then back here, there's three or four. So I'm gonna try to line those up. You wanna get that center bolt as close to the center as you can. And I can't really tell back here. All right, that seems about right. There we go. So, the big question is, will we get the horn to work? That is something I'm very, very doubtful about, but we'll see. All right, so I'm filming with one hand. Ooh, this is terrible. Don't worry, stick around, there you go. Now you can see the bolt turning. This is premium POV recording right here. So as you can see, the horn has two terminals here. And one wire is gonna be from over here. It should be grounding to the wheel. And then there's another clip here on the Momo button adapter. And we're gonna have to make a jumper wire for that. And I'm gonna do that right now. So 
So I'm going to tighten it just a little bit. You don't want to see that, right? You want to you want to see see me see me vaping, right? Hmm, what do I what do I do? What do I do? All right, so I got the adapter plate here. And um, I'm gonna put this cover on here for now. I'm gonna put the steering wheel on. I swear if this horn works, it's gonna be crazy. Maybe I'll just put two on for now. Just to make sure everything is all gravy, right? I'm gonna put one here. Then I'm gonna get the jumper cable. All right, let's see. All right, so I got the jumper cable and the wheel cable. And I don't have a horn. Well, I guess that's a problem for a future day. The horn wasn't working on the car before, so. Um, man, that's annoying. Well, that's very frustrating to say the least. So I'm going to give it the final little tightens. Hmm. All right. So now we're just going to do the process in reverse, but we're not going to be using this thing again, of course. All right, so remember that centerpiece, that yellow one? I ended up having to take it out. That way the wheel will sit flush and there won't be any gap here. Yeah, that was annoying. I also found the horn problem. You take the constant here. And if this is correct. So, uh, if I could just figure out how to get this into here, the thing is the wheel turns, so it's gonna like twist this wire and whatnot. I'm thinking if I should do it, I really want a horn. I'm horny. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and screw this thing in. And then uh, we'll see if I trust myself wiring the horn. All right, so basically, it's the constants here. And then I'd need to put a wire in here that loops around. Um, but then when you turn, you know, it might get tangled up. So it would be need to, it would need to be pretty secure. Um, well, let's see how it goes. All right, this is what I got so far. I'm gonna wire this here. And it's gonna make a couple loops in here. All right, this is what I ended up with. It may be terrible idea but how else would we learn all right so a little moment of truth we're gonna strip this put a butt connector on it now we take jumper wire connect it to the ground so we'll see if this is gonna work. All right, here we go. <gasps> oh, snap! And there it is. <laughs> Sweet. Oh, I can't believe I got the horn working. You can kind of see the wires in there.
Just took it for a test drive. It's holding up good. It's pretty straight, but I hope you enjoyed that to some degree. Peace.